In the previous video, we have constructed the bond harbor cycle for sodium chloride. For the next example, we will be doing aluminium oxide. And unlike the previous video, we will not substitute the values into the enthalpy changes, but we will just focus on the respective enthalpy change along each stage. So, first of all, we start off with formation of aluminium oxide ionic solid. So aluminium oxide, Al2O3, we need two atoms of aluminium and three atoms of oxygen. So that will, uh, that will mean we have to put two and three over two respectively at their elements. So this is the heat of formation, aluminium oxide. Now recall the key concepts. We have to change the elements into gaseous ions so they have to go through forming of gaseous atoms and then they lose or gain electrons to form the ions so let's do our aluminium first we have two moles of aluminium solid so we need to convert the aluminium to aluminium gas that will require enthalpy change heat of atomization but because we have two moles of aluminium we will need to multiply that value by two so aluminium is ready as a gaseous atom let's try to change the oxygen molecule into gaseous atoms or so so we have oxygen molecule we have to break the bonds right breaking three over two bonds will give us three atoms so looking at the bond energy the bond energy is the energy required to break one mole we have to break three over two moles so we multiply the bond energy by three over two to give us three atoms now we are in a in a very important milestone where the gaseous atoms are ready to have electrons added or taken away from them we do the aluminium first. Aluminium will need to become Al3+. So we need to remove three electrons from them. Right. For the cycle, you will need to put each electron remover as one stage. So first of all, we remove one electron from aluminium atom. That is known as the first ionization energy of aluminium. Again, we multiply by 2 because we have 2 moles of aluminium. Okay. Just to so, so that you are still aware, all these are endothermic processes. All these require input of energy. That's why the arrow is still pointing up. We need to energy to remove the electrons. We need energy to break the bonds. We need to input energy so that the atom will vapor will go from solid to gas so the direction is still correct the second part will be removing the second electron forming Al2 plus that is known as the second ionization energy of aluminium again you should notice just like the previous video we put the electrons that is removed along the level also so we remove two electrons from aluminium and the electrons come out i put them on this side we, we remove another two electrons so it becomes four e minus here so we need to proceed further aluminium two plus will go to aluminium three plus we need to remove electrons again so removing one more electron from each atom you become two moles of Al3 plus we have a total of six electrons removed this is the third ionization energy of aluminium so aluminium atoms or aluminium gaseous ions are ready because our main aim one of our main aims is to obtain aluminium 3 plus gaseous ions so the aluminium is ready 
we will need to adjust the oxygen atoms now. Oxygen atoms, our aim is to change it into ox oxide ions, O2 minus ions. So oxygen atoms will be gaining electrons. So for oxygen atom, the first part will be three of them will gain one electron each. That is the first electron affinity of oxygen. So three atoms take in three of the electrons from here. We have three O minus and three electrons left over. Right? And like I said, this is the first ion first electron affinity of oxygen. We multiply by three because there are three moles. And for electron affinity, the first electron affinity will be exothermic. There will be a release of energy due to the attraction for the electrons and the atoms. So we point it downwards. If you refer to data booklet, when they do give the data, you will also see there is a negative value. right? So it also indicates that it should be pointing downwards. Now we need to form the O2 minus atoms. The O minus atoms or the O minus ions will each gain one more electron. Here's where we have to be careful. This is a negative charge ion. This is electrons are negatively charged. So there will be a repulsion that we need to overcome. So that's why this second electron affinity will be endothermic. So it's pointing up and that's where we get our oxide ions also. Right. All the six electrons have been transferred from aluminium to oxygen. And this is a very important stage now. We are aiming for gaseous ions, Al3 plus O2 minus. So we have arrived at this important milestone. So what is left to do is to join this level to the formation or to the ionic aluminium oxide that is known if you recall as your lattice energy of formation. Lattice energy is the forming of one mole of ionic solid from its constituent gaseous ions. So we have completed the cycle. Let's try to form an equation. We will look at where is the clockwise direction. So you can see that if you were to trace out the line, this will flow in one direction. This is the clockwise direction. The anti-clockwise direction will be just this particular stage. So we equate the clockwise values to the anti-clockwise values. Right? If you to make it clearer, maybe I can say we'll equate the blue color values to the red color values. So you have an equation that looks like this. Then depending on the data, whatever information is given, you will substitute the values accordingly so that you can find the last remaining unknown, right, depending on which piece of information they provide for you. So that's the conclusion of the forming of bond haber cycle. We did the sodium chloride and we did aluminum oxide. Right, if you need to download the definitions for the enthalpy or the energy ch changes, right, you can go to the website which I will list in the description below.